Hello, I'm Timothy Perfect from Two Canoe Software, and I want to show you a new project I'm working on called Piv Plus. It's a replacement for the built-in macOS Piv driver that enables smart cards to work with macOS. And it solves one very specific problem, and then we're also adding in some additional features. So I'm going to walk you through, show you kind of what the problem is, and then show you how we solved it, and then show a, a bit of other things that we're working on. So um, let me, first, when I start off, I have a Mac Mini here. It's an M1 Mac Mini. It doesn't matter. It works on um, uh, Intel or Apple Silicon equally well. Um, it's, I'm going to show you the demo in Ventura. I have this uh, smart card reader that's a third-party smart card reader just plugged into the Mac have native support. I've got a PIV card that's from one of the NIST uh, test cards. Um, and I will um, switch over to the Mac Mini and we'll go ahead and kind of show you what the built-in behavior is. I've already inserted the card um, in my user account and paired it with my user account. So I can use my smart card for authentication and for sending encrypted email or uh, sending uh, signed email addresses or email messages. So the first thing I'll do is open up uh, smart cards under system information, and you can see that I have the com.apple.cryptotokenkit.piv token uh, smart card driver uh, enabled, which is what is default. And you can see I have all the certificates installed. So I'm all ready, I'm ready to go. So let me show you what the issue is. So I'll open up mail. And one of the things people commonly do with their smart cards is send in, in, signed email messages. So I'll go ahead and send a message to myself, and I'll, uh, oh, it prompted me for my PIN because it's going to sign it. So I'll go ahead and say, uh, enter my PIN in to unlock that slot. That allows me to use that uh, identity to sign this email message. So I'll just say, hello from Naperville. And I'll say, Naper Thrill. That's the t-shirt I'm wearing right now. And I'll click on send. And then you'll notice it prompts me for my PIN again. So that's kind of tiresome, but I'll put it in. Okay. Oh, ask me a third time. Done. Oh, a fourth time. All right. Oh, geez, a fifth time. If you're lucky, it'll only prompt you three times. Sometimes it prompts you four times. Sometimes it prompts you five times. Sometimes it randomly prompts you. So that, that's tiresome. And every time you send another message, it will prompt you again. And if you cancel, you'll get this uh, kind of ugly message. So that obviously can be improved. And, and so what we've done is we've added, we've created our own uh, PIV, to our, our PIV extension um, that replaces the Apple built-in one. So I'll go ahead and install that. So we have this disk image here and I'll double click on it to install it. And it is a full replacement for the Apple PIV um, extension. And it seamlessly installs over the old one. So when I install it, I won't have to repair my card. I won't have to do anything else. It'll just work. There is a problem where I now have two extensions, so I'll have to disable the Apple extension, but that's relatively easy. If I just open up Terminal, uh, there's a command in the Smart Card Services. Uh, it's, if you do Man Smart Card Services, it'll show you this command, which is to disable the, uh, let me get a bit, a bit bigger, disable the built-in uh, um, uh, PIV token. So you can say it's, it's a pseudo defaults right, the preference disable tokens and it tells them to disable the com.apple.cryptotokenkit.piv token. So I'll go ahead and run that and it'll prompt me for my PIN and I'll still, I'm still using it. So I'm actually using the authentication for that to disable it, uh, to disable itself, which is kind of neat. Um, if I'll go back into system information, you can now see that if I look under smart cards, the uh, com.apple.cryptotokenkit.piv token is disabled and the uh, com2 canoes one is enabled. So it seems like that's exactly what we want. But you can see the certificates are still inserted from the PIV token, and they're also inserted, inserted from the, uh, oh, actually I don't see ours yet, though it should be in there. So what I do is a quick reboot to get everything back into a good state. But this allows us to show you one really neat thing. So I have File Vault enabled. I've, I've paired that smart card with my, uh, my, my account. And so since I've disabled the app PIV token and um, uh, installed ours, it seamlessly replaces it. So now when it boots up, it'll actually come to the file vault window and I'll put in my pin and it'll be able to authenticate. And then watch this, as, as it boots up, it won't stop at the login window, it'll seamlessly pass through and do the pass through and unlock the keychain. So 
we didn't have to do anything when we replaced that PIV, uh, that PIV driver. Um, it just worked. All right, so now we're back into the Finder. And if I go back up to um, System Information, you can see that uh, now the Apple com.apple.cryptotoken kit PIV token is still disabled. I have ours PIV plus one, and I can see the certificates are coming up as um, that token. So let's actually show you how to send an email now that's signed. What, what happens with this new one? So I'll hit send and I'll send to T perfect again. And you can see it prompts me for my pin. Okay, so I put it in and now it's switched over to test card holder three and I'll say Naperville is the thrill. Okay, and I'll say hello from downtown. And now when I click send, watch what happens. Nothing. I don't get prompted. I don't get, I don't get harassed by asking me for the pen. It's wonderful. And I imagine if you send a lot of uh, signed emails every day, it's a big deal. So one thing I didn't show you is if I go into the PIV Plus app, um, you don't necessarily have to launch it, um, but it will prompt you that it has notifications. And I'll allow these notifications. And I will send a new message and send it to tperfect and I'll get prompted. And I'll say hello. And you can see it just validated another pin. The pin was validated and it can actually, it gives me a message. I'll just put in some garbage here and I'll send it. Now watch what the notification, it shows that it val validated the uh, pin two more times. So um, it now shows that um, uh, every time it does it with a, a push notification, which is a, a great thing to keep track of what's actually happening with your smart card and what's actually being authenticated. Um, so we've also replaced all the functionality with uh, um, the, the built-in PIV token. So if I wanted to go into system settings and I go and put in, uh, I usually like to do the startup disk and I click on restart, I'm actually gonna restart. I'm just gonna see that it prompts me for the pin. So that works. So when I do that, you can see the push notification happens. I'm not going to actually uh, restart. And then if I open up terminal and I do uh, sudo s, I can't actually, this keyboard's U key is broken. Um, so I'll just copy this other command and I'll use the sudo from it. And I'll type sudo s and ask me for my pin. So I'll do the pin. There we go. So I authenticate with the pin and it showed me that push notification that it's valid. So it basically is a full replacement for the Apple PIV token. Oh, I didn't, I didn't show Safari. I gotta have Safari. So if we go to uh, car, our card tar, our TLS one, so for our, for is asking to authenticate. I think because it does a preview on this page. Yeah, that was kind of undramatic because it was, uh, it, it preloaded it. So let me load it like this. Now I select the certificate and I'll put in the pin and then it loads the web page, and then we should get the push notification. So that's that's the kind of the normal procedure that you go through. So that's uh, basically the basic functionality. Oh, it's replaced it. Now that we've uh, added in that ability to cache, we're gonna add some uh, ability to manage it. So you can uh, specify the lo how long a period of time and what slots are cached for the pin, um, which is a great, uh, gives some great flexibility. Um, we're also gonna add in a couple of features. One is that you wanna be able to use just a single certificate on the card for pairing um, to Mac OS account instead of having the two, which might make it easier for people that make their own cards and are not issued PIV cards. Um, and then we, uh, yeah, we're planning on adding uh, lots of different customizations so we can kind of round the, uh, get kind of customize it the way people would like to see it. Um, so um, thank you very much for watching. Um, it's it's uh, available to test right now if you wanna try it out um, and also give any feedback. We are on the Mac Admin Slack. So if you join a macadmins.org, sign up for free and then go into the uh, Two Canoes room. I probably should create a PIV Plus room for, oh no, there's a smart card um, room as well for, for Mac OS. So please join that. And also head over to our website, twocanoes.com, and there's a form on the bottom. You can send information or just shoot, shoot us an info, email at support at twocanoes.com. We'll be happy to respond back to you. So thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward to see how people sign email messages without having to type their pen five times. Thanks very much.